Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now, this series kicks off where the previous series concluded and I'll be continuing from there. Okay, so those of you guys who have uh, followed uh, the, the my previous series on Fortran programming, uh, you guys will uh, you guys will have the you will find it easy and it is a continuation of that. And uh, for those, uh, I recommend this series for those people who have some basic understanding of how Fortran works, who have some experience, who have experience uh, working with functions, subroutines, modules, little bit of arrays, and uh, some uh, formatting and all. Okay, but if you guys are completely new to the new to Fortran and you are like very big beginner, basic in Fortran programming, and uh, this you might find this a little hard to follow. So. I will not recommend this series for you guys. You can go back to my previous series, uh, the, the previous series where I explained this from the beginner's point of view. So it will be that will be easy for you to uh, for for you guys to follow. And if you can learn from other series also also, uh, uh, I prefer mine because you know you'll get you'll get used to my you'll get used to my kind of my way of narration and stuff, my way of narration and programming and all. Nothing, more, nothing more. Um, for for the for a no, for the notification for for everybody who is following this series from the first first uh, uh, for them uh, I'm doing all this programming and editing doing all the writing of the program in a G, in an editor called as Genie it's an IDE I'm doing it Genie okay and I'm using the Ubuntu for 15.04 as my operating system and I'm using G Fortran or GNU Fortran as the Fortran compiler. Okay, uh, if you guys are following in Mac or Lin uh, Windows or other versions of Linux, the similar the procedures are entirely similar, but you may have to do a little adjustments with your uh, with the initial installation and stuff, and everything else. But everything else remains the same after your initial installations are over. Okay, uh, okay. Now let's jump into the program. Okay, today uh, in this in this series in this lecture in or in this video, we'll be demonstrating the some the array operations that are available in Fortran. See, if you want to do something like uh, the dot right of a matrix, two matrices, or transpose of a matrix, or matrix multiplication, or, or some other features, okay, in, in, you need not have to especially write your code, okay. Fortran has all those features, uh, some of these intrinsic fu uh, functions available that kind of does this does the job for you. So you don't have to go and write the code every every time. Uh, you can just follow. You can use those intrinsic functions over here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate you guys today as to how to do that. Okay, in this series, in this tutorial. Okay, now let's begin with. Okay, for those of you guys who haven't who didn't follow my series, I'm using a ma module called as Maths Maths underscore Maths one. Okay, this module is actually this one which I wrote in the previous series. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to know how I got, uh, if you guys want to know how this module got created and stuff, I recommend you have a look at the the previous series, especially the last four to five chapter, four to five lectures where I've been explaining this. But this is easy to follow. I'll explain you guys only the part that comes into picture. Okay, then what I've done, I'm using this module. Okay, the implicit none. And by the way, guys, my uh, narration will be shorter. And it will be more to the point without any pay, co ex complete explanation unless it was demanded for because now you guys are you know uh, already have enough experience with Fortran and if I were to explain each and every thing for you you might find it dumb and uh, I'm not saying you, uh, you guys are really smart those who guys are watching so you might find this e you find this really boring so I'm just sticking to the point alone okay 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 here what I'm doing is that I'm defining set of variables uh, the set of variables. Uh, the uh, okay prod and sum one and then a uh, two integers uh, r and c whose values are is equal to three and three and two. I define a single dimension mat uh, value called a single array, a single valued array called as dp. And then uh, and then a uh, c a uh, six arrays, six arrays a one a two a three a t b b one and b two over here. Okay, a one is three a one is th has three rows and two columns. A3 has three rows and three columns. A T and A2 have two column, uh, two rows and three columns. Whereas uh, B1, B2 have six elements each. Okay. And then what I'm doing in this in this set of code, 
and populating the arrays or you know that's a technical term or in simple term I'm just uh, filling uh, filling these arrays with uh, values using the reshape command f function okay uh, I think you guys must be remembering that okay reshape command uh, and uh, now these are the ma these th this is the most important part in the program okay now this function dot underscore product does the dot product of these two matrices b1 and b2 and returns the result to the value b a dp okay and this function transpose uh, takes in the matrix okay and uh, returns the transpose of this matrix to this value over here so at will actually become the transpose of this matrix a1 okay and then this function mathmal does the matrix multiplication of this arrays a1 and a2 and returns the result to the value a3 prod product function returns the product of all the entries in this array a1 and returns that answer to prod okay and sum one okay i mean this sum function returns the sum of all the entries of this matrix a1 okay and returns it to the value value sum one okay then what i'm doing over here is that i am printing i am printing the matrix matrices using this uh, call using this uh, subroutine call i mean this subroutine is called as print underscore mat2 i am using this matrix uh, this subroutine to print the matrices okay now print underscore mat2 uh, is it comes from this module this module maths1 written under the file name maths underscore mod okay now that file uh, that subroutine is somewhere yeah here that's here what it does is that it takes two integers n comma n it takes care for the rows and columns and using these values and defining the matrix that a that comes into it and after having two integers i comma j what i do is that i write a nested do loop wherein uh, what is the nested do loop and print the elements now how d how does it work it's simple first it prints the pipe symbol at the beginning of every row and then tells the cursor to wait stay there and then next was well, this j loop j loop starts and then what it does it just prints the first element first column entry in the first row and then gives a tab in in the in the field of three spaces in the field of eight spaces okay and then it prints it gives a tab of three spaces and then wait a tell the cursor stays there okay Cur cursor stays there and then it prints the next value to give in a, in a, uh, next value to three sp uh, gives this uh, leaves three spaces stays there the next value on the same column the next value in the same row stays there uh, gives a space stays there and so on and ultimately till all the entries of the column of the row gets printed and then at the end of every row it prints this pipe symbol and then goes to the next line okay next next line so what happens is that you have a nice matrix with all its values printed all its values along its columns printed in all the entries of all the entries of the row printed in between pipe symbols okay and similarly this is simple similarly i'm using another matrix another subroutine called as print underscore mat1 what it does is that it does entirely the similar part it just takes n as an integer to define b and then it prints the matrix over here okay in this format it lays a pipe symbol and then prints the value of the in, of the corresponding matrix entry and then prints another pipe symbol and then goes to the next line okay this way it prints uh, all the entries within pi within uh, enclosed it within pipe symbols okay now uh, what, what all the, in this kind of formatting prints them in a fo column matrix format but that's the that's uh, what i intended for but you can change it you can change the printing method by you know adjusting the formatting and all anyway that's no big deal and what i do is that i use this print underscore mat one to print over here to uh, print to print the matrix b1 and then uh, here what i do is that i get uh, i get the maximum value of the matrix a1 is in this inbuilt intrinsic function maxwell and i get the minimum value of the value of this matrix uh, using this function minval and i print them here and similarly i print the sum and the products of the matrices matrix entries matrix entries there here over here and then i print the transpose of matrix a1 which is 80 and then the matrix multiplication result uh, a3 using the same subroutine and then i print the dot product of b1 and b2 
which is actually DP here. Then to compile this, <coughs> okay, what I did is that I written a small shell script which does this, which does the job. It removes all the mod files, object files, and executable files, and then we compile the module file first. I mean, the file having the module first, and then I compile the the from this program which we're working on, which has the which calls the use of module one. Okay, the module match one. Okay, and then I cl club all the object files to uh, link all them to create to build an executable out of it, and then I run the executable uh, execute the executable file or exe file here, and then okay now our job is to run this in the terminal. What I do is that I go to, I go to the terminal and the files are in the desktop. Okay, the files are in the desktop. Uh, let me just clear this up. To run this, what I do is that bash star dot sh by the way, if this is the only file available, and if you if you write this in this format like star dot extension, just keep click a tab, it fills the values accordingly, and then click enter. It does all the job required. Now let's see what it does. It has printed all the statements using because we presented the ls commands often, and then it printed the matrix a1 in the matrix like format. And if you guys look look notice. This looks like this looks very fancy and looks like a matrix. Okay, that's the reason why I printed. I use this, and then, and then uh, I printed the matrix A2. The if you uh, mat A2 the equal the mat the the column matrix or the one-dimensional matrix B1 as a column matrix, and the minimum value of A1 is printed here. The maximum value of uh, a minimum minimum maximum value of A1 is printed here. Minimum value is printed here. The sum of all the entries is printed of this matrix is printed here. The product of all the entries is printed here. And ignore these trailing zeros because these come because we didn't include the formatting to reduce or cut the zeros. But anyway, that's not a big deal. And then it prints the transpose of this matrix A1 over here. And you can notice that uh, the values have been swapped accordingly. In the mean interchange accordingly. And then I just printed the ma matrix multiplication of A1 and A2. If you guys notice. A1 is 3 cross 2, A2 is 2 cross 3, so the result is 3 cross 3, it prints the 3 cross 3 matrix here, and finally, it prints the dot product of the matrices B1 and B2 here. Well, that's all I, for you, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next tutorial with an advanced uh, topic. Bye.